Well, new details on a story we first told you about last week on Eyewitness News at 5.30. A convicted killer is facing new charges. We told you about Gerald Mastracchio being busted as part of a marijuana growing operation. Today, Mastracchio went before a judge disagreeing on a key part of the arrest. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us live in the studio with the new details. Today, Gerald did not have an attorney and answer the judge's questions himself. The two didn't share the same point of view on whether or not the probation violator should have been allowed to have a medical marijuana card. A Kent County Superior Court judge goes back and forth with a man who's very familiar with the legal system. So you understand it? Yes. You want to move base Yes. Gerald Mastracchio was arrested on July 31st after police say they busted a marijuana distribution operation run by Mastracchio. At this home in Johnston, state police say they found 28 marijuana plants, scales, and packaging. A viewer photo captured the raid. Plus, they found three and a half pounds of marijuana at another home police say was connected to the ring. Just the latest accusation for a man who's faced many convictions. And sentenced on three prior cases. Uh... And that includes murder. He was found guilty of beating a 13-year-old to death with a baseball bat and then tossing the body off the Jamestown Bridge in 1979. While in prison for that life sentence, Sentence, he was found guilty of attempted murder in 1990. Since then, he was released on probation, violated it, and then released again in 2012. In court, the judge said Mastracchio's defense will likely be that he had a medical marijuana card prescribed by a doctor. But the judge argued since Mastracchio was on probation, he should have never had the card in the first place. But you know the answer, but we know the answer, though. I don't think we have the same answer, Your Honor. Now, regardless, the amount of marijuana Mastracchio is accused of having exceeds what the law allows. He was held without bail. And in a news release, the state police specified that more charges are expected in this case. So stay with us as this break, news breaks on this investigation in the future. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.